Hello everyone, welcome back to another daily Minecraft tutorial. And today, we're going to be showing you how to get X-Ray for Minecraft version 1.21.4. Take it away! Yeah, so in this video, you're going to learn not only how to get X-Ray, but also how to get Fulbright working for the Minecraft version 1.21.4. So, to begin, what you want to do is go to your web browser. Now, there will be multiple links in the description to help you through this process. But here I have Google Chrome, you can use anything you want. What you want to do is download the classic X-Ray texture pack, which is simply X-Ray Ultimate. Well, you've seen this many times if you looked at X-Ray videos, this was the classic. Just go in the link, which is, this will be in the description, you'll have this page. All you want to do is go to download, wait 5 seconds. You're going to have some ads, whatnot, and it's going to download the texture pack automatically. And just wait a couple seconds, it should show up on the top right. It's just here, okay? This is a zip, this is a resource pack. Now, what we want to do is actually go on Iris Shaders, funnily enough. If you go on Iris Shaders, it can be Iris Shaders, it can be other shaders, but like even Optifine, but Iris Shaders will be the easiest way to do this. Just go on Iris Shaders Dev, and here you'll have this. This is Iris. What you want to do is download now, and download Universal Jar. Here you're going to have Iris Installer 3.2.1.jar. This is just to get shaders working, because we will be downloading a shader. We will be downloading a full bright shader. It actually works with x pretty well. So what you want to do is go to the link in the description as well, or simply go and open up Blendy Cat Full Bright. So if I do Blendy Cat Full Bright, Full Bright, sorry, we're gonna have this. Well, right? Blendy Cat Full Bright Shaders. Now this is actually a GitHub project, and to download this specifically, what you want to do is simply go to the code section, which is the green button. Once you click this, you're going to see download zip. Here it is. Now if you're looking at this on mobile, you might not see download zip. Make sure you are in a computer interface like this, and you will be able to download the zip. This now gives us these files and folders. Now we are done with the web browser part of things so we can close Google Chrome or whatever browser and open up the file explorer window. Here we have file explorer and all we want to do is go to download right here. You might have a different download section if you download on a custom folder but if you're using the default one if you did not change anything it should be downloads right here and all your files and folders show up right here. Here, what we need to do is quite simple. It's simply double click Iris Installer. Now, there will be a link in the description to download Java on Windows. Reason for this is because this is a .jar file and you will not be able to execute it without downloading Java for Windows. So if you have an issue double clicking this and you don't have the icon showing up, if this is a blank icon, if you just see a file icon, you will not be able to use it. Make sure to have downloaded Java for Windows. It's different from Minecraft Java, but make sure to have downloaded Java for Windows and you'll be able to see it. Let me just show it real quick, just, just to help you. Java for Windows, you know? It's this link right here, right? Just make sure to go on this website and download Java if you need it. That's, a, that's an important to note. Now, once you have Java and you see everything working on, just double click this and you should have a little window like this. Make sure the game version is 1.21.4. You do iris only if you want fabric, whatever, but just do iris only to make it nice and simple and click install. Just wait a couple seconds and there you go. Iris is now on your Minecraft launcher. So you need to go to your Minecraft launcher. Let's close this and let's close this and let's go to the third step which is going to the Minecraft launcher, like this. So let's just wait for the Minecraft launcher to open up, and it should show up, here it is. Here we have Iris and Sodium 4, 
1.21.4. Now, what I'll do, I'll go on Minecraft by clicking play. The reason for this is because, well, we need to have the files to show up and you like this, you can see live the different changes we'll be doing to get, well, X-Ray and full bright working. So, what I'll do, I'll go in the world to make this nice and simple and for the changes to be seen. So let's just wait for Minecraft 1.1.4 to open up. Also, this also comes with sodium, so you also get a bit of a performance boost as well while we are at it. So, all you need to do is go to a Minecraft world, it can be anything. I'll just do single player and my classic tutorial world. And let's just wait. Here we have a world right here, my classic Minecraft, nothing interesting for now. What we need to do is add the X-Ray texture pack to Minecraft. To do this, click escape. Go to Options, then Resource Packs right here. Here you're gonna have the default ones. Simply click on Open Pack Folder. Now, go to your Windows installation area. For me, it is the default one. And here we can see we have X-Ray Ultimate. All you wanna do is copy. Go to the top left right here. You'll see Back to Resource Packs and click paste now we have one folder we do not need to unzip it as well in our resource pack folder now if i go back to minecraft we will see this simply click this and here we're going to have the classic x-ray okay but if you notice something well we can't see the blocks now we can use night vision it is doable but it's not easy to see. You can technically see that this is copper, I believe, but it's not easy, right? So what you want to do is now get full bright into Minecraft. Let me just close this real quick just to make the change apparent. And let's make it slash time set midnight. It's dark. Now, how will we see the blocks and anything outside as well, actually? Well, this is how we do it. First of all, you want to do escape, just like for the resource packs, and go to options. Now you want to go to video settings. Here you have the sodium settings, by the way. You want to don't touch anything except for shader packs. Here you'll see, well, no shader packs. Click open shader pack folder. Clicking this will open up the same thing as resource pack, but it's a shader packs. What you want to do is go to downloads, go to full bright shader, master, whatever, and copy. Well, once you have copied it, go to the top left, back to shader packs, click paste, and now you have one shader pack in your shader pack folder, which you also don't need to unzip. Now, close this. And you will see full by shaders master.zip. Select this and just apply done. And you're gonna notice something quite quickly. Well, that is full bright, alright? So that's full bright. Also, it also it's also persistent, so if we leave and come back, it will stay like this. Okay. Now we have full bright. All we need to do is well activate our resource pack. So to activate it, click Escape, Options, Resource Pack, Find X-Ray Ultimate, click this, Done, and we should have this, look at this beauty. Here we have, we can see like, you know, blocks through this, so here we have Core, and can, we can actually see it, and like, normally we need to use like night vision or like things like this but this is just an other way of doing this and it's actually amazing because you can see all the blocks using this well shader pack and you can have x-ray as well like this you can be like in a survival server and his diamonds huh? and yes it does work in game of survival if you are questioning but, duh. but anyways going back to creative you can see everything using this resource and shader pack which is honestly pretty good you know so that's kind of how we did it well it's that's how we get 
full blight working and how we get x-ray working it's really useful because we don't have a limit of how long our x-ray potion we don't have to craft an x-ray potion or if you're like on the server which uses any shop plugins or anything we don't need to buy one it's right in minecraft itself so yeah that's how we get minecraft working with shaders yeah no nah. but anyways if you liked this video just make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye!